hopes of a British satellite navigation project to rival the EU's Galileo system at a cost of up to £5 billion are on the verge of crashing down to Earth with the UK Space Agency poised to terminate the project. In 2018, Boris Johnson's predecessor as Prime Minister, Theresa May, allocated £92 million in cash to investigate the feasibility of the UK building its own system after being frozen out of Galileo, despite having invested upwards of £1 billion and developed much of the technology. However, widespread reports have suggested the UKSA has concluded the concept is not a viable one, with the agency declining to comment on the reports when questioned by Express. Today, now some in the industry, and within the civil service, now believe the UK's best bet is to try and regain access to Galileo. Tory MP Tobias Elwood, chairman of the Defence Select Committee, agreed, stressing the UK is currently without a backup to the United States Global Positioning System, GPS, on which it is completely reliant. Mr Elwood, MP for Bournemouth West, told Express the push for a UK system had essentially been a vanity project. He added, we need to remove the politics from security. Common sense must prevail. If we don't have the backup of Galileo we are going to have problems. The UK government teamed up with Barty Global earlier this year for a £900 million deal to acquire a 45% stake in the US company OneWeb, after it entered bankruptcy. It was subsequently suggested the constellation of satellites could be retooled to operate as a British GNSS system. However, experts have said their orbit is too low to make such an idea viable. An industry insider told Express.co.uk in July, the OneWeb satellites are not currently designed to deliver a navigation service, so are not a solution to the lack of access to Galileo. The production facility developed by Airbus for OneWeb in order to build the satellites is a, largely robotic, to keep the costs down, and b, in Florida. For both these reasons, the claim about bringing lots of jobs to the UK is questionable in the extreme. Note also that, if they try to change the satellite design in order to provide a navigation service they'd have to redesign the robotic production facility, and that would not be cheap. They added, having licensed OneWeb, under international treaties the UK is now legally liable for the OneWeb satellites.